compliments of the season. My name is Annika Brown Sinclair. Welcome to 65 Buzz. Stay tuned, there is more coming up right after this. This is 65 Buzz, news, testimonies, and all the latest happenings in the church that's one big family, the Welcome Park New Testament Church of God. This is our 2023 year in review. What a busy, exciting, yet fulfilling year it was. It was a year filled with celebration and loss. A year of many firsts, and also a year where we saw the hands of God in everything. The ladies of 65 had a busy year. There are some activities that have become a staple for the women's ministry. From leading the Bible in a Year reading plan, which ended in August, and saw 51 children, teens, young adults, men and women participating, to weekly connections from Touch Base Thursdays, Monday Morning Meds, and Prayer Tuesdays, the ladies maintained strong connections throughout the year while building themselves up in the faith. In some instances, approximately 89 persons could be seen attending virtual sessions. The ladies also benefited from training sessions covering stewardship, menopause, children learning justice and doing loving service, quality living, wise spending, empowering our men and loving the Corinthian way. Other activities for the year included pre-Mother's Day prayer meeting in May with a combination of 183 participants in the sanctuary and online. Cook-off of the houses in August as a part of the 60th anniversary celebrations replacing the annual generation cook-off and the annual awards ceremony in October honoring participants in the various activities. The women's ministry with the help of donations received from members and well-wishers contributed 125,000 to the Yadel Girls Home. Our life builders combined online sessions with active engagement through sports and retreats to reach men of all ages for Christ. The online Ola Meds Spiritual Development Series included topics such as Pray, Don't Faint, Jesus for Me, Jesus for You, and The Great Commission. Our men represented well in national activities, participating in the National Men's Domino Tournament at the Convention Center and earning first place for reporting in Kingston and St. Andrew. Seven of our men participated in the Life Builders Retreat in May, while four of our boys and young men participated in the National Camp in December. The annual National Life Builders Fun Day on October 16 saw over 60 persons attending and we claimed first and second places in a number of events. At the local church level, our men participated in community walks with the evangelism ministry and treated our mothers with special tokens on Mother's Day. Our men provided support to one of our sisters on Labor Day who needed repairs to be done to her roof. The men also had fun moments together in their evening of games and extravaganza for Father's Day. There was also the 60th anniversary community fun run or walk in August. Finally, in November, our life builders led our inaugural all-male Sunday school class which saw a record turnout of 52 males exploring the topic tempted to touch.
This was an exciting year for the youth department. Here are a few of our most memorable moments. From movie nights and sip and paint to national prayer meetings and personal development discussions, our young adult ministry team has hosted many enriching fellowship sessions over the year. This culminated with their signature annual colors event in December 2023. Amazing food, world-class DJs, and an awesome time of fellowship. Our vibrant teens ministry continues to have exciting fellowship sessions each week. But a highlight for our teens this year would be Teens Week. Over 70 teens, including those from our outstation Sunday school classes, enjoyed an enriching week of activities, including a visit to the Bank of Jamaica Money Museum and a refreshing day at the river in St. Anne. The highlight for our children's ministry this year was our Child Month activities, where we celebrated our children each Sunday during the month of May. Our children were also treated to an exciting afternoon at Hope Zoo. Our young people have always used their talents for God's glory, and this year was no exception. Here at 65, their talents were on display as they ministered at our annual Easter cantata under the theme, Staying the Course, The Great Commission. On the national stage, our dancers entered the JCDC dance competition and walked away with first place in the small group category. And on the international stage, our teens entered the international teen talent competition over the summer. A 26-member team traveled to Cleveland, Tennessee, where our teens presented 14 talent pieces and were awarded eight trophies. To God be the glory. Twenty twenty three was a year of active outreach to our outstation Sunday schools, training for our teachers and opportunities for our children to participate in our worship services. We participated in training both at the national and local levels for Child Month. We continued with having our children actively participate in worship services. We hosted our annual DVBS in August under the theme, The Incredible Race. The Back to School Drive, in collaboration with the Family Enrichment Ministry, was a resounding success. 210 students from 65 and our outstations benefited. Nine students from Majesty Gardens and Mandela Terrace attended a youth camp at Walderston, Manchester in collaboration with the Divine Exchange Ministry at 87 Waltham Park Road. A special feature of the year saw students participating in our Golden Text Challenge. Teachers of the lower division and outstation were encouraged to have children memorizing and quoting as many scriptures as possible. We held our annual Sunday school treat in December for all our students. Special thanks to Brother Kingsley Bailey, who has been taking snacks and refreshment to our outstation classes. Thanks to Sister Celia Forth for assisting as well. Finally, thanks to all our faithful teachers and workers that keep our Sunday school ministry alive. The Family Enrichment Ministry started in 2023 with a hybrid pre-Valentine Married Couples Symposium in February. 219 couples participated with moderator Rev. Dr. Stephen Samuels and a presenter Dr. Nadine Wong, a Christian psychologist from Canada, engaged in the audience in stimulating conversations. Still in February, we held the Renewal of Marriage Vows service. We still do. Couples reaffirmed their commitment and sought God's guidance in their marriage. A virtual marriage enrichment seminar was held over two weekends in March. It was facilitated by our lead pastor, Rev. Dr. Seems the Samuels, with national and international speakers addressing topics such as legally speaking, mind over matter, things in your marriage, the fire, just the three of us, and hola meds. Over 225 couples attended. For our singles, we held our Singles Cookout River Excursion to Castleton Botanical Gardens in July. July. In August, we held our Back to School Readiness Seminar. It featured presentations from nutritionists Alex Johnson and Ashley Phillips from National Parenting Support Commission. In December, the Family Enrichment extended a challenge, spread the love. The 65 members should identify a family member, a friend, a neighbor, or a shut-in who may need their love and support this Christmas. The ministry is also engaged in premarital and postmarital counseling. 
We are actively involved in outreach and benevolence, providing much needed support to our surrounding communities in partnership with the various ministries of the church. We are able to fund our activities through the generous giving of our members and well-wishers, as well as through funds earned from the Benevolence Bargain Center. In 2023, we have spent over $7 million in outreach and benevolence. Initiatives included support for Home for the Aged, scholarships and grants, community football, health fair, Yadel Girls Home, Golden Ages Dinner and Packages for Persons Over 60 Years Old, and Christmas Baskets for Persons Under 60 Years Old. Our Evangelism and Mission Department was very focused on reaching the lost at any cost. Our 2023 activities included corporate office devotions, school devotions, street meetings, community walks, inner city football league, mission trip to Barbados, mission trip to NTCOG Bunkers Hill. And to top it all off, we rejoice as in a little over a year, we have had 16 baptisms, seeing over 70 souls won into the kingdom. It was a fulfilling 2023 for the music department. Here are a few of our most memorable moments. Sandra Wollaston, Giovanni Hammond, and Moya Ro Craig were certified in music ministry, having completed the National Music Enrichment Training Program. They received their ABRSM certification in July. Also in the area of training, the department has commenced internal musician training programs in Congo drumming, bass guitar, and keyboard. The music ministry is integral in the activities of the church and supported major events such as the Lee University Singers' Visit to Jamaica, the Waltham Worship Conference in June, and Cantata 2023. The ministry prepared musical pieces for five items in the Teen Talent Competition in Tennessee. Not only does our music ministry support local events, but on the national level, the ministry supported the concerting march for the National Music Unit and the National Convention in July. The music ministry concluded the year with its signature community recital, which was held in Majestic Gardens, and the annual Mass Choir Christmas Recital. In February, we launched our 60th anniversary celebrations. It was a year filled with friendly competition and a rich ministry, from our symbolic walk from Mother Church Jordan Road to our cantata celebration, fun run walk, and our homecoming celebrations. There was never a dull moment throughout the year. Save the date for our remaining anniversary celebrations. Family Fun Day on Saturday, January 27, 2024. Anniversary Banquet on Friday, February 9, 2024. And our Walk to Roden Crescent also in February. Thank you for joining with us this season. And may the blessings of God be with you in 2024 as you continue to trust in Him. My name is Annie K. Brown Sinclair. Walk good.